I am Furin and I am your host and today I'd like to talk about a tournament in the UK that me and my friends will be attending, the South Coast Grand Tournament. This video is taken pre-tournament and will summarize my thoughts and expectations on this topic. A few words of an explanation of what this tourney is. It's the biggest solo tournament in the world. This year there will be something about 200 players there and the limit of this number comes from venue capacity only. It is held in the south of England in Portsmouth. The event itself will use pretty much 8th edition Warhammer rules. It has a very interesting compact which in essence takes the edge of army in a very mild but effective fashion. Special characters are allowed and magic is a straight 6 dice per spell, no lookout, third versus dwellers or anything else. The link for the compact is in the video description. In this episode I'd like to talk a little about my list and while I do so I will present pictures I took of my army. I've put considerable amount of effort into it and I'd like to share it with you. So my roster looks as follows. I have a big block of archers, of white lions and of phoenix guard, a double fast calf and a five silver helms for core and four RBTs. For characters I have a battle standard bearer with the banner, level 1 light mage with forbidden rot and techless. I've put decent amount of time into making techless work, I find that the spell selection is really the toughest part. A quick reminder of what techless rules are. He has a dispel scroll, he ignores first miscast he gets and he chooses one spell from every lore of battle magic. Rest of the rules is pretty negligible. The spells I've decided to bring are Dwellers, since they're un uncomped, Flaming Sword, Soul Blight, Wisin Wild Form and Mind Razor for closed combat boosts, Banishment and Searing Doom for magic missiles, and Comet of Cassandora for case that someone decides to play a corner hammer game. The selection of spells like that allows me to have something to say in every phase. I can use Flaming Sword and Soul Blade to maximize my shooting phase. I have also enough bodies in combat blocks to actually fight in combat. It's not like I just lose when the enemy gets into close contact with me. Roster wise I am kinda afraid to play against dual iron blasters and there are apparently plenty of those. Like 29 out of 34 ogre lists decided to bring dual iron blaster. I am also reluctant to play versus Dark Elves, simply because I get the feeling that Dark Elves are better than High Elves in every aspect. The rest of the pairings is more or less fine. I must say that I am extremely unfamiliar with English metagames, so I consider myself playing with some sort of handicap. Hopefully I will do just fine due to vast experience in the game overall. I can't remember when was the last time I had so much hype for going for a Warhammer event, so I guess that that accounts for something. I am looking forward to meet my fellow hobby players, so if someone would feel like having a chat or drinking a pint together, then we'll be there all weekend and we plan to be in the pub until it closes. After the event I will upload a video with my battle reports in it, so stay tuned. Um, that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching, feel free to like the video and subscribe for Warhammer content that will come shortly. Cheers!